handsome, so beautiful today. <coughs> Keep coming. Good morning. Good morning. You all look so wonderful. Happy Easter. Do you remember what we say? I'm going to say, Christ is risen, and you all say back to me, Christ is risen indeed. Okay. Christ is risen. Christ has risen indeed. Christ is risen. Christ has risen indeed. Now I want you to shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. All right. So I have a question. Do you all color Easter eggs at your houses at Easter? Have you well, done that I this did. year? We did I did. That. You did. I did. Okay, you didn't. Okay, some of you done it, some of you haven't. We did it at our house, and um, we do it every year. And this is one of the eggs. I did this. I am not an artist. I think I've told you guys that before. You know it too. See, I drew a butter. That's actually a butterfly. I, I, I know it doesn't, but um, this says "Happy Easter," sort of, um, and it's kind of brown. I meant for it to be purple, but it ended up being brown. Um, so this one is actually purple. One of my kids did this, so it actually looked good. So, yeah, we color Easter eggs. Have you ever wondered why we color Easter eggs? Do you know why? You, July says, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. okay, to celebrate? What do you think? Because of Easter? Yeah. What do you think? Because Jesus rose from the grave? Yeah. So um, those are all very good and right reasons. Uh, one, you know, a long time ago, a long, long time ago, Christians during Lent, the 40 days before Easter is called Lent, right? And Christians during Lent, they didn't eat eggs. They didn't eat eggs for 40 days, 46 days, really, because we don't count the Sundays. But, and so they didn't eat eggs, but their chickens kept laying eggs. So they had lots and lots and lots of eggs. And when it came time for Easter, they were loaded with eggs, lots of eggs, and they thought, we need to celebrate that we get to eat eggs. And so we are going to color our Easter eggs. We're going to color them. And in many times, they would color them red. I don't even have a red one. They would color them red to symbolize the blood of Jesus on the cross, like what Caroline said. What do you think? Uh, no, I do have more than two. Yeah, I do. These are the two that I thought were <laughs> the loveliest colors. Um, but, you know, all this talk about eggs, I want to tell you a story. One time when I was in the sixth grade, I did a science project at school. My dad helped me, helped me, he did it himself mostly, um, <laughs> build an incubator. Do you know what an incubator is? An incubator, you do, some of you know what it is. So it's, it, was a, it was a special box that had a special light, and it would keep the things inside the box warm. Yeah, right, August knows, it's warm. Yes, so we went and got some eggs from a farm, and we put them in my incubator, the one that my, I made, my dad made. Um, and I took the incubator to school, and with the eggs in it, and for my friends and I, my classmates and I, we watched the eggs for a couple of weeks, and it was so boring. They didn't do anything, they just sat there. I thought, Are they, is there any life here? No, we're just watching these eggs just sit there with the light. And I thought, Dad, did you do it wrong? They're just sitting there. And then one day. Yeah, they were hard-boiled. They were hard-boiled? Maybe. <laughs> just like these. Well, after a couple of weeks of watching the most boring science project in the world, the eggs started to shake. And crack. And then they would crack. And do you know what came out of my eggs? Chickens. chickens. Little chickens. Little baby chickens. They did. There was life in those eggs. You know, the egg kind of looks like it, it's closed up. It's closed up, okay? It's like, it reminds me of Jesus' tomb. I want to show you a picture. This is a sealed, nothing's getting out of this, okay? This egg, it's sealed. It's like a stone has been, it's like a stone. It, it cannot be cracked. Just like in this picture, you see how the Roman soldiers were rolling the stone in front of the tomb? They sealed this tomb because there was no life in it. There was no life. And Jesus' friends were kind of sad. They were a lot sad. And they thought, it's all over. There's no life. We're watching, but nothing's happening. 
just like I watched my eggs and nothing was happening. And then one day, yes, there was an angel at the tomb and, and Mary Magdalene and her friends, they went to the tomb because they, you know, they were going to put spices on the, on the body of Jesus. But they got a big fat surprise. That, that egg that was so boring and lifeless, no, 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 no. It was a big surprise. The stone was rolled away. And there was all kinds of life in that egg. Whoa, hey, nice job. Thank you. There was life in that egg. There's life in that egg, right? I did. I popped that egg. You bet I did. That was not nearly as boring as my incubator. All right, boys and girls, let's pray together and thank Jesus for the hallelujah. Okay, let's pray. Hands together, under your chin, close your eyes, and let's begin. Oh, God, thank you that, thank you for the surprise of Easter. Thank you that there is life inside that tomb and that it is empty and you walked right out of it. Thank you, Jesus. We say together, hallelujah. We praise your holy name. Help us never forget that the tomb is empty. And because the tomb is empty, we will live again just like your son Jesus did. In Jesus' name we pray. All God's children said together really, really loud, amen. amen. And hallelujah. Goes in now. The quote of the day, you did a really good job.